Okay, in this video, we are going to do tax 21 day 7 cross site scripting from OAP stop 10 challenge in try hack me. So, it is on cross site scripting. So, before doing this box, so I will suggest you to read all the theories on cross site scripting. There is another box also in try hack me. Just check it out. The link is given in this tax 21. So you also search for Google on cross site scripting and watch a couple of YouTube videos. Okay, let's get to the challenge. First one is deploy the VM. I have already done it. Cross site scripting means uh, you are going to um, inject a malicious JavaScript into the any input fields. So it will just reflect or it will show some output. There are three types of cross site scripting is stored, reflected, and DOM based. So, uh, this challenge cover all of them. So let's go to uh, So okay, let's go to reflected page. So to solve uh, number two, it said to go to this URL reflected and craft a reflected access payload that will cause a pop-up saying hello. Okay, to do that, just give a simple script. Okay, this is the script. It is start with angular bracket script and alert small bracket on uh, which we give the string and close it with um, angular bracket and backslash script. It's the basic format of JavaScript. Okay, then okay then we get our flag there is more to access than you think just copy it paste okay the flag is correct let's go to next on the same reflective page craft a reflected access payload that will cause a pop up with your machine ip Okay, so to pop, cause a pop up with our machine IP, so we are going to change the script. In this section, alert section, like window dot window dot location dot host. Okay, it will give. It is a JavaScript keyword. Okay, it pop up our IP and give up second key also. Let's copy it and paste. So, if you don't know about them, if you don't know any XSS payload, there is a site called accessspayload.com you can visit there and you can just copy the payloads from there the payload uh, required in this box are just basic so you will not need much knowledge of access scripting also so it said to go navigate to this url and make an account then add a comment and see if you can insert some of the html some of your own HTML. So, so in this question, we are going, going to need to inject HTML. So let's first register. Okay.
okay in then go to stored xss so there is a comment field so to just inject html just it's a basic it's like a basic html script Okay, we successfully added a HTML comment. So we just added a HTML tag, header tag, body tag, and just we got our flag. So on the same page, create a HTML pop-up box. Appear on the page with your document cookie. So we are going to create another script. Mm -hmm. Skip a lot and inside a lot document that cookie. So it will just pop up a document cookie. Okay, we get the cookie and another flag also. Okay, in the last question, change XSS playground to I am a hacker by adding a comment and using JavaScript. Okay, it's a bit difficult one. So we have to change this XSS playground to I am a hacker. Let's view page source. Now let's change rather than being page source, let's inspect the element. Okay, so we are going to change this id tsm dash title to um, I am a hacker using cross site scripting. Okay, let's get into it then. The script is like that doc uh, script after that document dot query as selector. Let's select the item from html so we have to select this tsm title okay then change it to i am a hacker to do that just write text content to Okay, then close the script. We okay, have done a couple of times. So it is the correct final script. Document.query selector. So it is the correct script. Just comment then. Let's see if it works or not. Okay. Our website is defaced. So there's XSS playground change into I am a hacker and we get a key. Yeah, website can be easily defaced with XSS. So it is okay, it is the correct flag. Okay, we have completed uh, day seven XSS scripting challenge also.